Hello Python programmers, this is AK. In this short video, we are going to learn about the importance of file formats in data engineering. File formats play a crucial role in storing the data that you have. Without proper file format, it is very hard to organize your data and storing the data files. There are a lot of file formats are there in data engineering. It will take a lot of time to explain all the concepts. So particularly in this video, we are going to see about three different file formats. Most of the time, if you are facing a data engineering interview, definitely you could see these questions in the interview. So watch this video fully to understand the concepts and if you want to see more data videos subscribe to my channel for instant updates. Okay, so let's start this video. In this video I selected three different file formats such as CSV, Parquet and Delta. So first I'm going to explain about what these file structures are and including that I'm going to explain about the comparisons of each file format. Let me start with CSV file format. So most of you guys must know in this file format. CSV file format is abbreviated as comma separated files meaning the data that you have stored in csv file will be delimited or separated by the comma symbol main purpose of csv file is to store the data in a structured format that's why you can see most of the csv files are in spreadsheet and database softwares so the unique specialty about csv is way of storing and organizing the data in a structured or tabular format most of the time if you are working as a data engineer you could face the csv structured data formats as your data files same like excel files you can open csv files in microsoft excel but additionally you can use any text editors to open and edit the csv files that's all about the csv files let's move to the parquet same like csv parquet is another file format that is mainly used for columnar data storage unlike csv parquet file comes with data compression facility especially if your project is a big data you must need to hold or transform your data in a parquet format that's the ideal way of handling the big data projects other than that, there are some of the concepts you have to know before get to know about the Parquet. Parquet formats are column oriented formats. Well, this type of formats are highly optimized for OLAP or clothes. And we previously saw the CSV files. Those type of file formats are optimized for OLTP workloads. OLAP and OLTP are important concepts in data engineering. You can expect an explainer video soon on this topic. Because of the data compression facility in Parquet, you could, you could easily fetch the column data values by using the queries. It will give you more relative speed of query execution compared to the operating speed of CSV files. So the final important topic is Delta file format. Delta format store the data in a Parquet format. It supports the optimizations for the column oriented analytical workloads like Parquet. But what's the difference between Parquet and Delta? There are a lot of differences and features are there in Delta files. Delta file formats are able to store the transactional data logs meaning you can track your commits and updates on your data seamlessly. Delta stores your transaction logs in JSON file format, it, so it clearly tracks you when you made an update to your data. And the next important feature in the Delta is time travel. As I said, Delta format creates the transactional logs. So using this transactional time logs, you can revert back your previous data by accessing those time logs. This technique is called as time travel. So these are the important features that you should know before getting to those formats. I hope this video will bring some idea to you about the file formats. That's all about this video. Thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next video.